tendency to develop a voltage when they are exposed to external light. This property will help here to build a transmitter and receiver circuit here. We will use the infrared light emitted by the sender circuit to incident it on this infrared LED present in the receiver circuit. How an operational amplifier works? As long as there is no voltage difference between these two input pins, you will get no output here. When there exists a voltage difference between these two pins of this amplifier, you will get an output here. Does not matter how small the voltage difference is. Initially, you have to adjust the potentiometer to make a voltage here nearly equal to 1.6 volt and initially the voltage difference between pin number 5 and pin number 6 of this operational amplifier is 0. That means there is no output here. Here is a voltage divider circuit and this voltage divider circuit divides the 5 volt in two equal halves. That means here you will get 2.5 volt. When infrared light falls on this infrared LED, there develops a negligible amount of voltage and these two voltages are in subtractive polarity. So, at pin number 6, the voltage decreases when light from this LED falls on this LED. When the voltage at pin number 6 becomes less than 1.6 volt, there exists a voltage difference and there is available an output. When there is a mass current, the collector current of the transistor BC547 flows in the relay coil and the relay operates. This relay can drive comparatively heavier load and we can uh, use a motor or a buzzer or anything what we want through this relay. This receiver circuit is designed here using 5 volt DC supply but you can also use 4 volt here and this circuit works with 4 volt DC also.